Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and I'm again back with the new extension for Google Chrome which is going to boost your productivity. The in the, in the previous uh, extension series we have talked about uh, extension for VS Code which was LWC sort keys. If you have missed that, you will get the link in the first comment in the pinned comment of this video please watch that video that is really a helpful vs code extension for boosting your productivity before we talk about uh, this uh, extension which is for google chrome please do like share subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon now let's quickly start the name of VS Code extension, uh, this Google Chrome extension is Movain Tools for Salesforce. So to get started with this, what you have to do is uh, go to Google Chrome Web Store, search for Movain Tools for Salesforce, and you will see this extension called Movain Tools for Salesforce. This is the logo that you can see, so that you need to install the right extension. You can install this right extension. Click on this. Here on the right side, you will see there will be a button called Add to Chrome. Click on that button, it will add your Google extension and this Chrome extension into your browser. Once you have added, if you go to your uh, Salesforce org, you will see that there will be an icon something like this, where you will see a magnification icon, uh, which if you click here, you will be able to perform some actions. So first we'll talk about how this, uh, this extension is going to work with the help of this magnification icon. Then we will also talk about the other capabilities of this extension. So if you click on this, as it is saying that this icon is usually used for search. So if you click here, you would be able to search for multiple metadata within Salesforce. For example, if you click on this drop down, you will see that there is user, profile, object, classes, triggers or pages, components. These are some of the metadata components which are widely used in day-to-day -day development life or admin life. You can easily search these components. For example, you wanted to search the user, you can select user and you will see five most recent user. And here on the top, you can see that is the my, my user. And then if you see there is a user called David. And if you click or select any user, you will see some high level and important information like what is the user id the name what is profile if you want you can click on it it is going to open the profile in a different window like this similarly it is going to open the user in a different window if you click on this uh, new window this uh, icon right it is going to open that now if you see the user is also active what is the username user email and then some very important actions that you can see here. Deactivate, you can deactivate the user. If you want to create a new user, you want to add multiple users, then again, you can click on this link. The one which I liked is very important is the login as, because the, most of the time as an admin, when you wanted to debug the issue, any user also, like any developer, if you wanted to debug any error that the end user is facing so you need to use this login as functionality so if you click on this login as it is going to basically login as that user currently we are getting insufficient privilege because the, that functionality is not yet enabled in our org so also the one benefit that i see is if you have too many users including community users or digital experience user you can easily search the users here. Also, you can easily search uh, any class that uh, you wanted to search, any components. You can search here. If you click here, you will see the components which are here. You can quickly open those components. Right? These are the managed package components which I have installed as a part of Copado. So, this is the one place from where you can work with Moment Tools. Now, there has many more capabilities apart from this. Now, if you see, if you notice, there will be an icon like Mule on the top of your VS Code extension. If you don't see, 
you click on this black icon which is extension here you will see your extension so you can click on that extension now it will open and it will log in as the current user you are logged in into your org now here the very common task that most of the admin and developer perform is doing a query so you will see there is a query editor and if you wanted to query on any object for example you wanted to do a query on contact you search for contact and select it is going to write the basic query for you and then you can write other and as soon as you write it is going to give you the suggestion so that is how it is going to like if you got account name you got account id and then if you click on run you will see all the records i have got uh, seven records that's why i see seven record over here you want to include the deleted record you can check this checkbox and then execute this query if you have any deleted contacts and that are available within recycle bin those will also be presented here you can also create a new object not new object new record you can also click on this and navigate to the object manager of your contact object and if you wanted to uh, click on any ids or if you click on any id it is going to give you the information by field wise including the field api name labels what the type of that field is either the field is indexed or not what is the origin standard or custom what is the value now you can also edit the value here as well you can just quickly edit the value and it is going to populate based on what the data type of that field is and you can just save it so it will also update that particular field whatever you wanted to make the changes you can also view the record to salesforce you can create a new record you can clone the same record or you wanted to edit the object or the associated layout which record is here okay and then if you want you can download this metadata from here if you click on this it is going to export the metadata for you you can also delete this if you want that is up to you now if you go there to the query sorry not uh, to query editor from the left hand side you will see there is a, something called a, a history button if you click here you will see all your history recent queries then there is a drop down from here you can copy uh, this uh, result into the different format either excel csv or json based on what your need is you can also save this query for the later purpose for example you can save this query say that contact query and here you will see all the saved query which i have saved for example i have saved the query for getting all the scheduled job if i do do the query i will see that there are two jobs which are scheduled and similarly there is a job for all org help check the SQL query if i run it i will see the details over here so this is the one place about the query and looking into the information this record data we have already talked about we can paste with the record id like this is where we have uh, from query editor once we selected any record it actually takes you to the record data where the record id is pasted you will see all the information if you want you can make changes if not that is fine so this is one thing which is i i really liked about this extension because the um, we can get every single information about a record we can make the changes from here if we want uh, we are also able to see the labels and api name at one place uh, along with the type and which fields are extend uh, like uh, index or not in order to perform our SQL query in a better way so this is the one thing the other part is we as a developer and as an admin also need to know uh, what are the detail of one particular object including all the relationships uh, their custom field or uh, standard fields their data type all those things right so if you click on this object detail from the left hand side this is a search box where you can search by default you might see some of the objects which are already populated for example you wanted to know the information about account you can search for account and you will see all the accounts uh, sorry all the objects listed down here you click on this 
once you've selected account the on the top it is going to show you the key prefix which is very important for any object and here you will see all the fields now again label api name who did the modified like when the last modification was made who was the person what is the type what is either it is a standard or custom the field is required or not the field is indexed or not what is the description about the field and one important thing with i uh, like uh, see here is a usage of a field if you click on show usage it will see show you the usage of that field where this field is used in terms of records if you click on this again you will see that these are the three records where the field is populated only on the three record on the account object and you can also see the field information for that field either it is the agri table at number what is the length and then if you scroll down you can see what is either it is a lookup then there will be a reference to a relationship name so every single information about that field the feature that i like about the most is the usage of this field sometimes there is a business requirement where we wanted to know on how many number of records that particular field is populated so if you talk about account phone we can see the 100% that means any record which is created within the system that record has this name field populated you can see over here so this is the one thing that i wanted to let you know about this cool extension then there is sometimes as a developer when we wanted to uh, develop some custom api uh, or we wanted to utilize some custom not custom standard api of our salesforce we can also use this rest console most of the time as a developer we rely uh, rely on postman or some other testing tool but this is again a very cool extension which gives you the interface to test this web services it could be standard of our custom but again one thing that it is only for salesforce related web services if you are working with some other system like uh, linkedin or google or uh, dropbox then you have to use postman or any other web service testing tool so for example this is a get get method just to give you the information if you click you will see all the urls are here like you do in the post uh, postman or in your workbench and if if here we wanted to get say s objects right you wanted to get s object you can just put s objects and click send so you will see the s objects all information about all the s objects that we have for example we wanted to uh, get the information about account so we can just see here and send it so now we will see the information about account this was the get method now if you wanted to create you can do a post you can do this request body you have request header you can add what kind of body you are sending either json or xml and in the body if you go here use um json object and i'm just giving the name field okay and i'll say okay so for name we have given maven tools for salesforce and if we click send we will see that if there is any error or success so we got a success which we got id this is the id right now if you wanted to see the information you can go to record data and uh, paste your id hit enter and you will see the information about that particular record okay you will see there is uh, there should be only name populated apart from that there would, should be no field populated account name is populated and all other fields are standard fields which are getting populated so this is the one uh, very cool feature uh, another cool feature about this extension you can also test your custom web services if you have written over here like say services and you say apex rest and whatever the web service that you have tested i don't have any so i cannot go ahead and show you here right now the other thing is that debug log this is again being here in this extension itself you can turn the debug log on you can read the debug log if you click on this new you can select what entity you wanted to either user or automation or platform integration select the entity user 
for example amit singh select start date okay and uh, you can select end date whatever it is and then whatever the debug label is they are going to use maven tool and click on save so we are getting this error because uh, the time must be uh, either 24 hours or less than 24 hours okay you can also click on trace flag it is going to show you the trace flag and if there is any log you can click on this reload button and it will show you the logs for you then again this is the another thing which is event hub where you can go ahead subscribe your platform event your change data capture or your streaming api and here for example you wanted to subscribe a platform event or change data capture what is the event we don't have any currently that's why we are not seeing anything we don't see any generic event as well uh, we don't have yeah we have platform events right so if you select this platform event we get this copado event copado data change or mc result so we select that what is the replay id used to be minus one and subscribe so this will be subscribed right you will see what this particular subscription has been successfully established and waiting for event if we subscribe this event we will see the result over here if you want to subscribe for another one you click here select any if we have post topic we have copado notification you'll see the details you can see the detail about the push topic as well and subscribe so you will see that it is also subscribed so that's how let's see if we can uh, publish this copado event to do that i'm logging into my system i'll go to platform events so this is the event which has uh, these three fields right so let me quickly go ahead open the developer console and here we are going to basically publish this event so the fields that we have is payload publisher code let's say we are just sending with one field to publish i'm going to use event plus bus class this is the code which i wanted to use to publish the event i'll execute successful execution happened okay and if you go to maven tools you will see that there is an event which happened which occurred so we can also utilize this extension to test our platform event and then in the last we have got this org status which is going to show you the status about your hourly limits daily limits and there, there could be different limits that you see right workflow um, platform events daily scratch orgs uh, einstein discovery prediction calls or if you go to monthly limits about uh, usage other limits permission sets you can see platform event usage you clearly see here you can run the query and you will see the usage okay so that is uh, how basically you can use this particular google chrome extension to boost your productivity so this is it about this google chrome extension and uh, please do let me know into the comment section what you think about this google chrome extension and again there are a couple of more google chrome extensions that i'm going to cover here but still if you think there is some amazing google chrome extension uh, please feel free to put down into the comment section